Now, students, I want to bring you up to date um, on what I've done so far. So, if you take a look at the south elevation here and remembering that it's flipped, okay, uh, I've arranged my windows. Um, now, I've not done exactly as what has been done here because I think it's a bit higgledy piggledy. You can see that's how I've done that there. And I was explaining to you what I did was I selected the wall, I added the profile, I cut a big opening into the wall. And then I placed a one of the Shuko um, curtain wall systems in there. And then I have arranged my solid panels so that they match the columns. And then I've evenly spaced, if you like, uh, the rest of the areas there by using the uh, curtain wall grid to split in two, split in two, and then I split in two the whole way across here and then swapped out uh, glazing panels for the uh, um, the, the window here and that's what I've used is the Matronic which is the electric electric controlled top hung opener uh, for that position there now second thing that I uh, have been working on here is this section here and you can see that this is the gym uh, in behind upstairs and you notice that the wall penetrates through the roof here okay so um, what I did was I selected uh, this wall here and I detached from uh, the roof and that means it it pierced through the roof there and what that did then that gave me um, something to work with uh, in terms of creating a void so I created a void in the roof here because remember this is a, a roof by extrusion and the only way I can do a cut out here is to do the void all right, so I've done that in various different places. I've done that with this roof here and this roof here as well. So um, that's covered uh, in previous videos. All right. Now, um, then what I did was, um, uh, because this is now exposed, I wanted to get my uh, parapet roof with the, uh, uh, the press metal capping on it. So what I did uh, for that was I went into a section. Okay, and then I split this wall. I split it using the split command here and you just pick a point and it'll split it there and then I swapped out the top part for my uh, parapet wall and then this uh, retained as being the uh, internal uh, wall there all right and then finally what I had to do was um, you could see that these um, curved uh, columns uh, curved beams Okay, they were obviously all the way down here, so I picked each one of those and I pushed them back into uh, that position there. Now, um, I'm at the point where, if I go back to the south elevation, and again, you can see I've got, there's window openings, there's windows and window openers here. So what I've done is the exact same thing again. I've just, I picked the wall. Uh, I've gone into the, um, let's see if we can do, do that now. Let me show you. Okay. So, escape, escape. And this is where your section box comes in very handy. So this is where you, you need all your bag of tricks, uh, particularly when you're selecting things like so. Okay. And uh, um, edit the profile. And then I cut out um, those uh, window sections there. I've done this on the basis of 900 modules. So... That's 3.6, uh, 3.6, 3.6, and 1800 uh, there. Now, uh, so what I'm ready to do now is um, go in and put in. So I'm going to drop down the, uh, the cut plane here. So I'll bring up the cut plane maybe to uh, 1500 by. Yeah, okay. Now you can see that I get my uh, openers here. So um, again, it's a question of <coughs> wall architectural, and here's my shoe go system. And I just want to be able to choose. I'm going to choose it. Uh, sorry, now I'm going to go right to left, and I'm going to take that as the position. Okay, so now there's one in. So escape once. And same again over here to escape once. And so from there to escape once. And then from here T 
to here. Escape, escape. Okay, back into the south. Now I can just uh, select that window and I can drop this uh, all the way down and pull this one all the way up. Now, so roughly there and again, just there it is. So I'll pull that up to match that one and yeah, so on like so so again I the same job again all the way down then to match okay and then all the way up and just to match right so once I've got those in position uh, I just should use my uh, curtain grid and I'll split that in two, that one, that one, and that one. Okay, let's just see what the windows are like here. Yeah, they're full length and they're, they're top hung again. So um, I'm going to uh, tab, pick the panel, uh, unpin it, and that's the thing with the, Sh the Shuko system. By default, it pins the panels. I'm sure there's a way around that, but uh, you have to unpin it in order to get to the selection over here. And um, I'm going to go top hung again. Uh, I don't see why not. Uh, but I won't do the Metronic. I'll do the uh, the manual one. Okay, like that. Now, uh, so I'll finish off those, and uh, that will be my. Uh, that section of the south elevation complete and then after that I'll do a similar system here now for uh, these windows I'll do a similar system for those similar system for these ones here um, I have to adjust my uh, corner window there it has kind of a box out uh, on it there too and I think we did we do that last year but I'm not sure and then uh, a window system there and that more or less have my south uh, elevation uh, complete okay